There's been a huge outpouring of support for this project and we've had a lot of help. A lot of businesses and community groups have stepped up to the plate, so to speak, and helped us build this facility back to the way it should be and the way it used to be. This project is a community partnership between King County Parks, the White Center Community Development Association, and all the baseball user groups who have played here and enjoyed this facility for 40 years now. I, I had a good win. game, and I was so happy. So why did I volunteer for this? Uh, Steve Cox um, was a figure in this area, was a formidable figure in this area. Uh, he represented our sheriff's office extremely well up here and we want that memory not to fade. I'm happy to work here in White Center because it's improving a recreational facility for the community. And to me that's faith in action. Putting a roof up over the batting cages, just ongoing, ongoing, bringing in some new appliances into the snack shack so when you have your tournaments you have good quality equipment to utilize. Infield and the practice areas are, are recovered with field turf, which is an artificial surface to play all weather. So when the field turf is installed, uh, the material is dumped on top of it and it has to be raked back and forth to work it down into the turf. The users um, will be maintaining it um, this is our home field and we have to treat it that way. The Seattle Mariners have donated the old outfield wall pads from Safeco Field for us to use as a backstop. Their grounds crew also are helping us build the mounds. The dedication ceremony is on April 5th at 11.30. The park is being renamed after Steve Cox, who was a county sheriff here who was killed in the line of duty. The uh, ball field also is being rededicated in his honor and also for us to use in the future.